everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Real Time Training. I'm your host, Paul Turner. And today I want to talk a little bit about uh, how you help your guests and how you treat your guests. And one of the things that we do uh, here, um, occasionally, we don't do it every week, um, but we try to put together a little bag of goodies uh, and do a little visitation. So if you've not done that before, if you've never um, gone out and said, hey, thanks for coming, things like that, I'll just show you a couple of things we're going to do here. Um, so today I went ahead and just got these bags. They're really super simple. Found them at the uh, dollar store for two for a buck. And, uh, and so we, I just went around there and picked up a few things that could go in there. First of all, you want to feed uh, their body. Give, now this is, by the way, we're visiting a junior high boy, so not all these were, are meant for everybody. You could say, look, these are for girls, these are for guys, things like that. Um, so for the junior high boy, we got him some uh, crawlers here. Right? It's going to go in the bag. Found him just since it's summertime, something that's seasonal, so we go ahead and got him uh, some water balls, something that he may be able to use. He lives across the street from one of the guys in our youth group, so maybe they could like take these and hit each other with them. Um, some other things we'll put in there is uh, I, I usually try to put something in there like a um, something that I put together called a student scripture study, and uh, just something that for junior high guys uh, or girls, in this case, they can use that to um, you know do some scripture study, things like that, even though I don't know where he's at spiritually per se. Um, I think it's just a great message that you're sending him. It says, look, we don't just care about your body. We don't just care about your physical stuff. But we also care about your spiritual stuff. And this gives him a great jumping off point. And so we'll take that and we'll put that in the bag. Um, for this season, we want to make sure also that he has a calendar of events, things that are going on. So you can put that in the bag. So we, we want him to know everything that's going on. And by the way, too, when a mom or a dad sees this, um, I think that's also you're sending a very clear message. It says, look. We're not your average youth group. We actually go out and, and we care whether or not your son participates. We, we want you to be a part. And we want our families to be involved and things like that. Um, so one more thing that we'll add in there is I'm putting a camp form. So we still have some time for camp to be able to do that. So uh, we're going to put a camp form in there. So when you get this and you put it all together, you have a pretty good little something that you're going to deliver there. Of course, you can have um, students. Uh, this is just kind of my you know, day that I'm doing this today. So he came on Wednesday and in the future, what we'll do is probably have all the kids sign bags like these. So that's kind of a reminder to myself, um, have the kids all sign them. Thanks for coming. All that kind of good stuff. So when they get the bag, um, that just, it's not just from me, but it's from the whole group. So anyway, that's your little tip for the day. Make sure you go ahead and put it back together. What else do you, if you do, you do this, do you, do you put, bring stuff to your guests? Do you hand stuff out? What do you bring? What do you like to bring your guests? Do you make visits? Do you just give it to them while they're there? Man, I'd love to know. What do you do? And give me some ideas. I'd love just leave some comments down below and say, hey, Paul, this is what we do. This is what goes in the bag. Or you say, look, Paul, this is what you should put in the bag. Um, things like that. So I'd love to hear your comments. So thank you so much. And we will see you next time on Real Time Training. Bye.